Hello, welcome back to an Outriders stream. I've stopped actually playing this game, but I've been asked by somebody how you do the fast cooldown with a flame weapon set. So here is a brief explanation, and I will explain. It's quite simple, really. So, on my character, I'm running three-piece flame weapon. Now, flame weapon set on the Pax tree has a node, which is down here, which is called Hasten to Influence. Reduces remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second for every status removed by you or applied to an enemy by a player. So the fastest way I found to do this is, obviously on the skills, I use blighted rounds. So blighted rounds, every time I shoot someone, it puts toxic on them. So every time I shoot, I apply a status, and that takes one second off. Also, I use fixing wave, so basically to keep my ammo up, so I never have to reload. Cold snap, <clears throat> which is just what you use on a techno. My gun, I use a fatal symbiote with dark sacrifice, and ammo enhancement, and ultimate bone shrapnel. Ultimate bone shrapnel could be changed to another status to actually multiply it and make it faster, but it is capped at a certain level. And when you watch what I play, you'll see that it really doesn't matter. I don't use any other guns. The gear. I use the headpiece. <clears throat> Captain Hunter and I work out Alchemy Master. Um, I could probably change one of them, maybe Alchemy Master. But I think that's locked in. You can only change the other two. The other one's rubbish. I use robes. The third mod self-medication. I would ideally change that. Um, to probably long winter, maybe. Um, fixing wave, party starter. You, you need that. So basically, every time you hit your fixing wave, it goes across the map. Um, pants, I'm using techmongers. I'm using these because they've got a normal A cooldown of status. Again, I could change them. Um, but I've got on top of Voss, Freezing Boost, Viable and Compound. I've got Purple Gloves. Um, and none of these are really a, a, applying stats. They're just what I have. As I say, I stopped playing the game because um, it was sort of dead. I'm actually waiting for some more games to come out. So, my skill tree is pretty much standard. Um, middle tier, bottom tier hybrid. So, the trick is, when you're playing the game, so we'll just do a random, we'll do star gear. When you're doing a, a random, uh, when you're obviously fighting, and also to bear in mind, this is only good for mo uh, mobs. If you go doing the trials and you go up and it's an arbiter, it takes a while to kill him. Tourists are better. But as I say, the trick is when you come in, I'm going to enter the map. First thing you do is pop wide rounds. Like the Pharaohs built a camp. Right, and then as soon as I freeze them all, I'm applying statuses, so it multiplies my uh, cooldown. So when they're frozen, if I hit it again, I get the cooldown straight back. I'm a bit out of practice because I haven't played this for a while. But you will see that basically freeze them. 
do. And the more status as you apply, the faster the cooldown comes. Stop. Right. See, all you got to remember is just keep spamming, fixing wave. Cold snap, and because we've got the cold snap set up. It lowers your cooldown. God, I'm really out of practice on this. I say I haven't been playing this game because it's sort of dead nowadays. But also, when there's more enemies closer by, I hit critical, sh critical shots. It transfers viral cold, compounds, whatever it's called. You just got to remember to keep your blighted drones up. Freeze, shoot, get back. Game. Shit. So freeze them. By status, and then when the more you shoot them, you find status, you get your kill down. You'll notice as I shoot, cool down, jump down. Example, you can shoot it in, you can pull down. Leading below the meteorite. Yep. Reeks of monsters. Beasts found. 
found themselves a pod. Once you get your timing right, it's quite easy. boss again fight his rounds the walk freeze him shoot freeze hit him wave spam him with that And that is it basically. You need that pax node set up. Zahidi, I found a pod down Every time you shoot, you need to apply status. If you're playing any rock samples teams, play it's a bit easier. But it's actually capped at the speed you could do when the first did it, you could do it a lot faster. It was basically instant. But as I say, I use a fatal symbio on my techno now. But I'm actually been quiet on YouTube because I'm waiting for some other games to come out, like First Descendant. I played uh, Warhammer at the weekend. That was very good. Um, I played one called Project U, which was an alpha test, and that was rubbish. Well, I thought it was rubbish. Some of my friends did. Um, so that's why there's not been many videos. But, so the Fiddle Symbiote, Dark Sacrifice, Anomaly Enhancement, so my gun hits a ton. With the armor pace set up. These are all basically just box standard. You're adding stuff to your freeze, your normally, all that stuff. But the main one that you need is you need to be on the pack tree, and you need to be the bottom root tier, and you need that one. So, even you can use fixing wave as well to reduce statuses. So if you're playing with somebody else. You can take statuses off them and increase your cooldown as well. So if you're playing in teams. Um, but yeah. Any questions, just ask. But it's quite straightforward, really. Right. Goodbye.